Taking out the trash might be unpleasant, but it shouldn't be dangerous. Banks of smart meters produce intense radio frequency fields, often in public areas. Details about measurements in the notes below. I'm downstairs in a 24-unit building on Knob Hill in San Francisco. All the meters are located in the basement, and I'm one of the residents here. Uh, what would cause you to be exposed to these meters? Uh, we have to cross by them as we're going to uh, drop our trash off. This is in the basement. RF pulses measured in front of this bank reached well over 500 microwatts per centimeter squared. This is an enclosed environment with a, a thick uh, walls made of brick and other heavy materials. There's some metal around. Hmm? I'm just going to look around here. There's some metal doors. There's the trash cans. And these are going off pretty much constantly. That was 130 microwatts per centimeter squared. 90. Very confined environment. 200, over 200. Co-location of RF transmitters is an FCC violation. Okay, I'll just do a little. And yet, by co-location, PG&E has been allowed to effectively create cell antenna levels of radiation inside people's homes. It's almost 300. The FCC limit is 580 microwatts per centimeter squared based on what intensity is required to heat human flesh. Biological effects are documented at far lower levels. Upstairs, the pulses come right through the floor. There's a kid that lives in that one. Let me knock on the door. 